Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial API Gateway for gRPC. My name is Bobur and I am a developer advocate for Apache Pay 6. In this video, we talk about what is a gRPC and why we use API Gateway for gRPC transformation. And we talk about also benefits of managing gRPC traffic with API Gateway, such as Apache API 6. And uh, I will show you also how to use API 6 uh, to transform RESTful requests to gRPC requests using it is plugins. gRPC is a high performance open source universal RPC means remote procedure call framework developed by Google. In gRPC, the client application can directly call methods on the server application or on a different remote machine, as you call a local function within your single program, making it easier to create a distributed applications and services. gRPC is based on the idea of defining a service specifying the methods that can be called remotely with the parameters and return types. By default, gRPC uses a protocol buffers as an interface definition language for describing both the service interface and the structure of the payload messages. Protocol buffers are the most commonly used data format at Google. They are used extensively in uh, inter-server communications. And protocol buffer messages and services are described by developers in proto files. And then this proto compiler is invoked at the build time to run these proto files. And it generates a code in various programming languages. And many organizations have adopted gRPC as a preferred RPC mechanism to connect a large number of microservices running within or across data centers. With API Gateway for gRPC, you can use the API management capabilities of API Gateway to add security, monitoring, authentication, load balancing, caching, and more cross-cutting features by default to your gRPC services running on your on-premise services or in the cloud. And API Gateway provides a protocol translation for your gRPC services, allowing clients to use RESTful APIs, typically like HTTP or JSON, to communicate with gRPC service through the API Gateway. In case two services are using different communication protocols in distributed architecture. In order to add support for gRPC service transformation, Apache API 6 has a gRPC Transcon to a specific plugin. gRPC based uh, plugin that invokes gRPC services in a RESTful way. The plugin supports uh, specifying the content of your proto files in Apache API 6 and it implements uh, proxies for different gRPC services through the user defined gRPC methods and messages. And the user can configure also gRPC Transcode plugin in the route and then when the route matches the request it will forward this request to the gRPC upstream service. With enough theoretical knowledge in mind, now we can jump into practical session. I'm going to demo gRPC transcode plugin usage of Apache API 6. It is capable of converting REST calls to gRPC requests to the services. To do so, first thing, we need to install Apache API 6. There are many way of bringing Apache API 6 project up and running. There's an installation guide you can follow. For example, you can use Docker. In this case, Docker would install it on your machine. <clears throat> and then you do Docker Compose App, which brings uh, all the necessary containers. Or easiest way to bring API 6, following the API 7 documentation for the API 6 project, you can run uh, the quick start script to bring API 6 and in this case it will bring two containers one API 6 and etc containers and in my case I am using a Windows operating system and I have docker desktop installed as you can see these two containers uh, are up and running now if you navigate the plugin section under transformation you can find a gRPC transcode plugin description uh, there is a, also the tutorial. You can uh, enable the trans uh, code plugin with uh, Apache API 6. Before configuring API 6, I need to spin up an example gRPC server instance. 
uh, name it let's say quick start gRPC example in docker which is exposed on port uh, 9000 I will open my terminal and run another docker command to bring this example gRPC service instance if I press enter and run this command uh, docker start to pull the images and it will run again on my uh, docker machine as you can see uh, here another instance for gRPC service is up and running in this case they are sharing at the same network called uh, the API 6 quick start this example gRPC server holds uh, several uh, services inside the hello.proto file as you can see it has a hello service and a request message and response messages and we are using giving the package name as hello once we define the proto file definition next step we need to upload and store the proto file content to apache api 6 proto objects to do so i need to run the following curl command against api 6 admin api by creating new protos and i will provide the, the proto id uh, let's call it quick start proto and the same definition or the content we have for this proto file uh, next step i will just uh, copy this curl command go to terminal and run this if you run this command and the api 6 uh, admin api response with 200 ok which means that proto object is created successfully Next, uh, I will create a new route object of uh, API 6 to enable uh, gRPC transcode plugin. It basically forwards uh, the request sent to hello your iPad using the get request uh, to the upstream gRPC server. In our cases, it is gRPC example service, and we are creating also inside the route new upstream and we are also specifying the scheme type of gRPC you may notice also inside the gRPC transcode attributes you can see the proto ID we are giving proto ID uh, the actually referencing to the existing file uh, called quick start proto and we are also running this uh, service called hello service and sending the method called say hello so I will get this curl command and run on my terminal. So if I hit the press enter, I will get another 200 OK response, which means now gRPC transcode plugin is uh, running. And the last step, I need to verify if everything is working and my API gateway actually proxying all the rest calls to the gRPC service. To do so, I can do the final curl command uh, to verify this. Uh, if it's working, just uh, hitting this hello uh, service or the route with, uh, let's say, custom greetings. Uh, greetings maybe we can give away in the parameter, like API 6, you can uh, change this for greetings to any custom message. If you press uh, enter, you can see uh, this hello API 6 reply message coming from actually uh, gRPC service. And then API gateway converting back to the usual HTTP call. Now we learned how to enable gRPC transport plugin by registering the proto file and creating a new route using API 6 admin API and means now our request is forwarding to the responsible service at the end you can just disable this plugin if you are not going to use this just uh, by running another the curl command to the slash kickstarter pc route means we are just disabling this plugin and it means we are not going to use it anymore if you go in and hit again this the same route now you should get bad gateway because we already disabled this plugin and now it's not functioning as we expected here are some takeaways from this tutorial api gateway acts as a protocol translator allowing multiple services to communicate with each other even if they are using different communication protocols 
and it offers other cross-cutting features such as security, observability, and so on. Using a gRPC transcode plugin of Apache Pi 6, you can proxy requests to backend gRPC services via RESTful API. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Apache Pi 6, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.